Hey, awesome people of YouTube, welcome to another guide on Black Desert Online or Video Console Edition. In this one, I'm gonna help you set up the very basic of your worker empire. It's not gonna go into too much details, just the very, very small basics. But before we get into it, I just wanna say thank you to everyone who's been watching, who's been supporting. And if you can continue to support by leaving a like, comment, and subscribing, it will truly help me out. Especially pressing that subscribe button. It doesn't cost anything. Also, we do have our Discord. We can ask me questions and talk to me. And I might start streaming on Twitch just so my YouTube doesn't get spammed with a bunch of stream. So let's get into the video. All right? You want to be having a nice work empire, but you don't know where to start. We're going to do a very basics. I'm going to utilize Velia because I've did a short yesterday on the five best nodes to start your work empire. So before we get it in to getting your workers, you want to go to the town that you want to start from. I recommend Velia just so you can start to get the food for them. Then when you go to Velia, you click on the town and you go to enter. Then you press Y for me on the beautiful Xbox. You go to purchase houses and then you press filter them instead of all to unpurchased. So you can see which ones you have not purchased. I unfortunately purchased them all, so for me it will not work. Then you want to select them by lodging. Because this is where you'll be able to house your workers. Then you click on it. Then you make sure it's on lodging so you can hire more workers. Then you select it. It's going to cost one contribution point for this one. This one is also one. And this one was one as well. And once they're at level one, this one you can upgrade it to level two. Same with this one as well. So I can have five workers. Then when you have all of that, you want to go to this beautiful person, Santa Manzi at work supervisor. But before we get fully into that, you can get your contribution points by doing quests. I believe it's a little harder to see. But let me get a nice background. You can see my level 61 was 67%. To the right of that, 388 is my combat skill points. To the right of that is my energy. To the right of that is my CP. I should have it underlined or something like that so you be able to see it a little bit better. Right? You're going to need quite a bit of that. But you can get a decent start just by well, doing some quests. If you've done some cooking, alchemy, or some other stuff that gives you... Give you things like fishing, broken bottles, you can turn them in for contribution points. For example, five bottles gives me 900 contribution XP. The higher your contribution, the more experience you need to level up and get that point. But once you have that, you have your lodging and have a decent amount of CP, you want to have a good amount of energy. And to get energy, you need to go do some knowledge. So if you press start, you can go to your character and click on knowledge then you have a bunch of all of this knowledge also gives you item drop rate but we're just going to quickly cover it because you go to ecology for example ecology of Medaya. if i complete all creatures doesn't have to be s tier just have to be just some knowledge like c tier i have it on this one it gives me four energy you can complete it and each one gives you a different amount of energy now as you can see you don't have to complete all of it just to get some energy I have this half complete or a little more it gives me one so you're going to have a nice amount of energy because you're going to be rolling workers. So you come to this person and you do contract worker. Unfortunately, I cannot hire a worker. But you want to be rolling workers. There's three workers. There's the giant worker, human worker, and goblin worker. Giant worker has a lot of stamina, but they're the slowest. Which means they won't be working as much, but you won't, be able, won't need to feed them as much as well human is just very normal good speed good stamina decent stuff then you have goblins which has the lowest amount of stamina but the highest amount of as you can see work speed and as you level your workers they'll get perks like this one get more work speed more movement speed more luck per level stuff like that Versus, for example, like this level 2 goblin. He's professional, but he doesn't ha have 
as much stamina as this human worker, but he has a lot more work speed. And there's several levels of workers. There's your naive, which is the worst here. Then there's green, which I forget. Then you have skilled, which is your like basic one. Then you have professional and artisan. You want to go for skilled at the very least. If you can get professional, that's awesome. If you can get artisan, that's even better. Because artisans are the best. As you can see, this goblin worker is only level 21. He doesn't have the best stuff. But he has 131 work speed. So you can see, none of his skills are work speed related to the stuff. He can make two work speed. Yay. Weapon and armor work speed. Nice. Extra work speed for motion grace. Nice. But he's not doing any of that. And he already has 131 work speed. He has good movement. Plus 7 from quick B and quick C plus 6. So he's a little faster. But he's still not bad. You want to go for artisan. And you need to have some experience in them to level them up. So the more they work, the better. Versus this giant worker. As you can see, he doesn't have any work speed on anything besides just some specific things. But he doesn't have as much work speed as the goblin but he has a lot more stamina at 35 i don't think i have any oh then there's also uh, if you're in grana in camera silver there are papa workers and faros papa worker are like your goblins and uh, your papa or your uh, goblins and faros are more like your human equivalent right? not bad but we're gonna stick with value so once you got your workers, five, remember, you're going to need, you want to set them in this five nodes that I have on the short, into beautiful Bartali farm, into chicken meat production, and potato farm. Chicken meat production gives you chicken meat and eggs, and potato farming gives you potato. Then you want to send them on Finto farm, gives the same thing. Chicken meat, eggs from chicken meat production, and potatoes from potato farming. And then to the left, into Logia farm, for potato farming. It's going to cost you some more CP, but you should have no CP to get that started. Then when you have that all going on, you want to purchase a house in the town. It's the same way how you've done everything else. You know. But you want to have it somewhere in a decent spot. Unfortunately, mine is not. The reason why you want to have residence is so you can put your cooking and alchemy stuff. And a few decorations if you want. I put cooking so I can make beer. The reason why I need beer is so all of my workers are good. And you want to put your beer into your family inventory. As you can see, I have it set up so it auto-consumes. Boom. And all my workers will be good forever. And it will take care of the, my Velia farmers. It will take care of my garden workers. And it will take care of other places like in Haido. Calfion, and if I had them in other places like Altsanova and things like that, it will also take care of them. That will get you set up really nicely to start to expand. I'll be doing a little bit more slightly advanced Worker Empire Guide, but it's different for other people. But this way, you have your workers taking care of, of your potatoes and chicken meat. So you can make your grilled bird meat and beer pretty easy. So remember, you're going to need residence and lodging lodging for your workers as max it out in Velia because you're going to need three different lodgings two of them are level two one is level one for five workers take the three farm logia farm bertali farm and finta farm chicken meat and potato so you get a good bird meat, grill bird meat and beer so you can start to amass all of that in the residence put your cooking station get the cooking stuff for the beer and that Get the levels for your cooking and get the beautiful, beautiful witch delicacy, which you can turn in for contribution XP, getting you more CP so you can get more nodes and extend and expand your worker empire. But this way, you just get the very basic. Hopefully, this guide helped you out. It's not very in depth, very, very simple. Everybody can do it. And I hope this helped you. If it did, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.